Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Cassoni Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Overall improvements are being praised in the State Department's rankings for public schools after St. Mary's produced mostly four and five star rated public schools, according to the Maryland State Department of Education. The State Department released the star ratings this week that measure last school year's academic achievement, school quality, student success, and graduation rates. The ratings also included results from a student and staff survey for the first time, which asked questions about diversity, participation, safety, student-staff relations, and engagement. Discussions about renewable energy have become more and more frequent in St. Mary's County, with some residents supporting the rise of solar farms in the area as others oppose it. The Maryland Public Service Commission on Monday held a public comment hearing on a request by Light Source Renewable Energy Development to build a solar generating facility. According to Tori Leonard, the Director of Communication for the Public Service Commission, between 12 and 15 members of the public were in attendance at the hearing, and about 10 offered comments. She said, some members expressed opposition to the loss of farmland, the site being located in a rural preservation area, and there is an environmental concern. Kwasi Basipan, a senior planner for St. Mary's Department of Land Use and Growth Management, wants to make St. Mary's County navigable for non-drivers. Bossapen met with two other planners recently at the St. Mary's College of Maryland to discuss how transportation, trails, and community design and policy can improve health and wellness. Bossapen says on the ability of pedestrians not to walk from location to location, if you can't get close to the trails, you can't walk on the trails. It needs to be a community effort to make an area more walkable. Other planners have suggested the expansion of bike lanes and alternative transportation networks to expand the ability of non-drivers to get around the county. The St. Mary's College of Maryland men's basketball team started two freshmen and a sophomore in Wednesday's night's home contest versus the visiting Hampton Sydney Tigers at the Michael P. O'Brien Athletics and Recreation Center in St. Mary's City. Seahawks head coach said, Overall, we are just a young team. We are trying to coach guys up and improve us as we go. After trailing for all the second half, St. Mary's 2-5 overall pulled to within three points in the final minute but ultimately fell to the Tigers from Virginia by a final score of 72-68. Smack swimmers aim for top marks this winter. The Lane's Edward T. Hall Aquatic Center in Prince Frederick each weeknights are packed with swimmers from Calvert, Huntingtown, Northern, and Patuxent High Schools, all who know that space is at a premium for practices each night, and they often spend stay later with the Calvert Aquatics Club, which also uses the pool. There are some swimmers who swim for Calvert and Northern and Patuxent who are also swimming with me here during the CAC practices, says Huntington senior Maddie Frick, who is headed to Towson University the next fall to continue her swimming career. This new brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sunnybirch. Signing off.